and a very good day to you and welcome to the program. A beautiful summer's day on the farm and we are filming right next to my prayer room right over here. I've got a little message I want to share with you which I believe will touch your heart and encourage you. We're going to go straight to 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Are you content today with your lot in life? You say, no, I'm not really. Well, I've got a message for you. And you must listen carefully. Because I heard a great preacher say this just a short while ago. He said, know who you are. Accept who you are and be who you are. One of the greatest freedoms that ever came into my life was when I met Jesus Christ as my Savior. You see, up until then, I was always trying to please everybody, trying to find favor from people. But when I met Jesus Christ, then I knew who I was. And I accepted who I was. And I am living who I am meant to be. No one is perfect, okay? But I want to say to you to say on the same breath that God does not create junk. The Lord made you and me in His own image. Therefore, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. When I became a Christian, within three months, I was preaching the gospel. And the people were very gracious to me in that church. Because <laughs> I think half of it was maybe heresy and apostasy. But it was done in love. And that's why they loved me. But some of the leadership in the church came and said, you need to do a lay witness course to become a lay preacher. Okay? And then one of the old men in the church, also a preacher, came up and said, leave him. Leave him alone. Don't let him do that course because you'll ruin him. <laughs> ruin what? I don't really know. But that's what he said. Let him be who he is. Charles Haddon Spurgeon was one of the greatest preachers that has ever lived. That is a fact. At the age of 21 years old, they built the London Tabernacle Metropolitan Church for him. They could see 10,000 people. He was 21. He never went to Bible college. He spoke with a very strong country accent, English accent. But he found his gifting and his calling. He was a preacher. And people came to Christ by the multitude. You and I need to find out what it is that God wants us to do. And that's what brings us peace, joy, fulfillment in life. Some people are chasing, 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 trying to find peace, trying to find a purpose, trying to find a reason. Don't do that. You know, uh, Vincent van Gogh was that Dutch master painter. His, his paintings are so expensive that you can't buy them. They are, they, they, there's no money to buy them. And Vincent van Gogh was regarded as being very peculiar, okay? And maybe he was. Remember, he cut his ear off, and eventually he actually shot himself. But I want to tell you something now. He would take a tube of paint and take the cap off and start to paint with the tube. But his, his paintings were unbelievable because he was a gifted artist. What you and I need to do today, today, is to find out what it is that the Lord wants you to do and pursue it with all your life. God bless you and goodbye.